I'm first of all gonna say they're doing construction on our house right now um, so if you hear like noises that's what it is <laughs> so I'm gonna be showing you what I pack in my hospital go bag and typically for me this is for the emergency room um, because with chronic illness like for certain people it means frequent ER visits and I can say in the past year I've been to the ER so many times so I always like to be pretty prepared so I have a list of things that I always pack that are like my necessities for going to the hospital and mainly to the emergency room but I pack the bag because when you have chronic illness and you go to the emergency room you always run the chance of being admitted and then you want to have stuff there um, because even while family members can bring up other stuff I don't know I like to pack myself that's just me so yeah this is my hospital go bag for ER trips slash admissions I guess so the first thing that I always pack that is like the most important is electronics um, it can be hours that you're gonna be stuck in the ER um, especially because for me, most of the time that I'm there, I'm hooked up to IV fluids, which now I'm currently getting at home, so I, I, that's spared me some ER trips recently. Anytime you're in the ER, like, it's notorious for being slow and backed up, so I always bring electronics. Typically, I bring my iPad, and I watch Netflix or YouTube or play games or something like that, um, and that's nice to keep me entertained. And of course, I always bring my phone with me. Something that goes along with these two things is headphones. They're really tangled. Don't look at them. <laughs> Sorry, they're really tangled. Headphones are really nice. You can just block out everything and just, yeah. I made the mistake of not bringing a charger and I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's because typically in hospital ER rooms, you don't have very good service. So it like, uses a lot of battery um, but something about the ER just drains your phone's battery so always 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 bring a charger with me um, that's like one of the biggest things then I always bring medicines so typically like if you're in the hospital like if you're admitted they provide all of your medications for you so it doesn't you don't have to bring your own um, but sometimes when you're in the ER, if you're going to be there for like, say, you had to go and it was like 5 o'clock at night. Um, there's been times where I haven't left till 1 in the morning. I take meds at certain periods of time and so I need to make sure, I need to think ahead of time and just always pack like whatever meds for the rest of the day in case I were to need those in the ER because they don't always give them to you. Um, if you're admitted though, I don't worry about it. I don't bring meds, just if I'm going to the ER. Also, if you happen to have them in the bottles, it can be nice if they need to know whatever dose of medicine you're on, or like how much the pill is, or it can be nice information to have, because you can just hand them your pill bottles and be like, yep, this is the dosage, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I always bring meds. So I always wear comfy clothes. So these are like super nice if you're admitted, but also like, if you're just spending lots of time in the ER and you know you're gonna, um, slippers are nice. Just comfy clothes in general, like fuzzy sweatshirts, even though typically they make you change into a gown, but pajama pants, like I have never been to the ER in the past year where I'm not in pajamas. I want to be comfortable, so I always, always, always wear comfy clothes. And I always bring a blanket. I always bring a blanket because ERs are really cold. Like, I'm a cold person. I am always cold, pretty much. So, they will give you, like, heated blankets, but it's so much more comforting to have your own soft blanket with you and that doesn't smell like hospital and, I don't know, there's just an extra level of comfort when you are able to bring your own blanket. Tubing's getting caught. I always bring Terry. So, yes, I think I've, I might have mentioned him in a video before, I'm not sure. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, this is Terry. Um, I got him a few years ago, and he is my medical bear. 
So, like I said, I feel like a five-year-old when I talk about this, but um, pretty much everything that happens to me happens to Terry. So, I went through a period of time when I first started getting IV fluids where I was getting peripheral IVs for four days out of every week for maybe I was able to do that for a month. Um, so that's when I first got the idea to do this for Terry. I already had this bear that I liked and so when I started to have IVs all the time I had I got the idea to give him an IV. So he has a little IV in his arm um, and now that I have a pick line, he has a pick line and I used a dressing, so I used a dressing I'm allergic to um, and then I cut a little bio patch out of gauze um, so this pick line actually, funny story, I, I'll make a story time sometime later about getting my pick line and that experience and stuff like that um, but this was actually in me for like 10 minutes so stay tuned, I will make a video about that um, he has EKG stickers on and a little bracelet, a little um, hospital band, so yeah. And below the hospital band is actually like that purple wrap that they put after you get your blood drawn, but it just looked cute, so yeah. So this is Terry, I always bring Terry and I, I might be a five year old, I'm sorry guys. So probably the last thing that I bring, um, when I'm going to be in the ER slash hospital, um, is art supplies. So I really like to do art and it's very calming and it's a way that I like, it takes up a lot of time and it's just like, it's relaxing. And the hospital is not always a very relaxing place, in fact it can be very stressful. So this is one way that I've found to take up some time while I'm waiting and just to relax me. So I really like to do watercolor. So watercolor, I always bring some of that. And then my probably my favorite is coloring books and like other colored pencils or markers. There's lots of times that I've spent coloring in the hospital and it's one of Besides just like drowning out everything in Netflix or YouTube, um, coloring is my next favorite distraction. So yeah, that's some, that's some of the stuff that's in my hospital go bag. This is typically the bag that I pack for emergency room visits and kind of half being prepared for being admitted. So yeah, so that is my hospital go bag. I hope you enjoyed this video and comment down below what's in your hospital go bag if you have one. But if you do, comment down below and tell me what's in your hospital go bag. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!